Welcome to another episode of Dollars and Cents tonight. My name is Timothy and today we'll be discussing a very interesting career-related questions which I'm sure many of us have asked ourselves before. You need experience to get a job, but you need a job to get experience. So which comes first? Joining us in our discussion today is Andre and Kevin from Indeed Singapore. Indeed, it's a job portal which helps millions of people around the world find suitable jobs online. Okay. So many Singaporeans naturally aspire to get good jobs that we want or have studied for. However, upon entering the workforce or when considering a mid-career switch, many of us may find it difficult to get the jobs that we want because it requires us to have relevant working experience. So you can see the ad. Obviously, I'm not going to say who is it or which sector it's from, but here are some notable requirements that personally stood out for me. So firstly, the job required a relevant diploma or IPE certificate in the right industry minimum of five years of relevant experience. So guys, let's be realistic, right? This is a junior contract position. Do you think this is even realistic? I think it helps to understand the value behind experience. So for example, when you are a business owner, say you want to open your own bubble tea shop, you need someone to make good bubble tea, right? So you could get your friend John, who has worked at a bubble tea shop before, or another friend of yours, Sarah, who has uh, been making bubble tea but for her friends out of personal interest. Mm. So either way, uh, you need a point of reference to be able to determine whether they have the skills that is needed for the role. Which kind of brings to a point where while you need an experience to get a job, but you don't exactly, you don't necessarily need job to get experience. There are other channels out there. Okay, I think that's a really good point because what you're saying is that when someone is asking about experience or the definition of experience need not always be job experience, it could be experience gained through other ways such as interest, such as doing something on your own, helping a friend's bubble tea shop. I just want to ask a question about, about, about mid-career switch. I want to do something else, but I realize that I have experience, but I, I may not have the right relevant working experience. Definitely the first step is to understand what are the skill sets required for the function or the industry that you want to jump into. Uh, and then understand what are the skill sets that you currently have that are transferable and what are the gaps. I think Kevin, yeah. you, you weren't actually from a uh, relevant, you didn't graduate with a relevant degree compared to what you're doing today. Yeah, that's right. I completely agree with what Andre said. So prior to Indeed, I was in business development. So at some point in my job, I started becoming really interested in product management and then I encountered the exact thing that you said. I don't have the right relevant experience. I found out that these are the gaps that uh, exist between where I am and where I want to be. So after that, uh, I'm with that knowledge and understanding. I left my job. I took uh, part in a full-time immersive course. And then I'm lucky enough to find an organization who is willing to take a bet on me. Awesome. So one of the things I always think about when it comes to solving a problem is what resources or platforms are available. When it comes to job opening, you know, we should ask ourselves what are some of the platforms out there to help us get a job. You know, and I know Indeed is one of the platforms that uh, hiring managers and job seekers can turn to when they need uh, to hire someone or when they need to find a job. So can you share with us briefly what Indeed does? Indeed is essentially a job search engine. Uh, about 250 million job seekers monthly uh, go to Indeed to uh, find jobs, post their resumes, and research for companies that they're interested in, including Singaporeans. So what about, you know, I mean, Indeed is a private sector solution to Singaporeans, but I think there's also government platforms, government solutions like My Career Futures by WSG. So is that something that, you know, a lot more Singaporeans should also be tapping on, looking into? Absolutely. Um, I think uh, we both share the same mission to help Singaporeans find jobs. Now, if you go to their platform, you could find 12,000 jobs supplied by Indeed. I think besides job portals, which I think we all agree is important, you know, mentorship is also another thing which I think we should not ignore, especially if we're considering a mid-career switch. So, Kevin, I just want to ask you, like, when you were contemplating a career switch from business development into product management, mm -hmm. did you have, you know, a mentor? Did you talk to people in the industry just so that you get a better sense of, you know, what, whether the grass is really greener on the other side? What are some of the challenges that you might face? Personally, for me, it's not a, something as official as a mentor, but I definitely did speak to people who are there who are doing the things that I think I wanted to do. So having their perspective uh, really helped a lot in that. 
thanks for sharing your experience for both of you. And I think, you know, career coaches is really something that we should also uh, consider if you're looking to especially do a career switch uh, midway through our career so that we can better find out what is it that uh, we are getting ourselves into if we really want to consider a career switch. So we have come to the end of our discussion today on the show, but our discussion has not yet ended. If you have any comments or experience that you wish to share with us, you can do so via the comment section below on Facebook or YouTube, or email us at editorial at dollarsandcents.sg if you wish to share your experience with us privately. Uh, once again, uh, thank you Andre and thank you Kevin uh, for sharing us with your insights. So just a word of advice before we go, whether you're looking for a job switch or a career switch, it's always important to plan ahead on where you want to go and how you can get the job that you want. So whether it's picking up a new skill, acquiring for yourself the relevant experience or getting involved in programs, always remember to ask yourself what you need to do today in order to get to where you want to be tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>